Welcome back everybody, it is us, the Retro T-Bones, back here with another video, it is I, Little T-Bone, and me, Big T-Bone, yeah, and we're doing Mario Kart item tier lists, so, some pretty basic stuff, you know? yeah, yeah, pretty right. basic, so, let's get started, Banana Bunch, it was used for only Mario Kart 64, Mm. Yeah, it's that. That's it's five bananas. Yeah, that's only, pretty, pretty, pretty overpowered. Yeah, it's too OP that I would say is it's more good. secured on the first place or the second place, and it is a lower chance of getting it, but it's still overpowered. So yeah, and like normally people use bananas right to like guard themselves. Yes. Right? It's not really good for attacking, but it's definitely good for defending. Defending. Yeah. And then, yeah, banana, regular banana is probably a B tier. It's like used so much. You use so much, and, and it only uses it just once. You have to get another item. Yeah, that, that's true. So probably low B tier. Yeah. Blooper. The blooper is actually trash. It's though. trash. You only just blind opponent's eyes. Only yeah. you get to see uh see the world. Yeah, Even you only get to see a little bit, but it doesn't really matter because anybody who's actually experienced with the game ha would mm. easily deal with that. And do see does it even work well on CPUs? Only on CPUs would go left or right when blind. Okay. Kinda. But that don't mu didn't do much. Though it's in the CPUs probably will be on the road and not go off road. Yeah. Alright, bomb bomb. What it does is just throw bombs and make Yes, it's explosion. a bomb, yeah. And I don't think it's that useful in my personal opinion. I thought it's useful. You can throw backwards and we create a bigger damage. Not just one, but also two more two. Yeah, it works sometimes, but like when you throw it forward, right, it, it it's hard to land it. When you throw it backwards, it takes time for it to explode. So you have to get the timing right, so it's not really that useful for me personally. Yeah. But it takes some skill to slow forward, so what do you low uh, seats here? Okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Ooh. What is D? That's trash. D it's what? fucking trash. Wow. Really? All it does is just steal items. If there's no item, the boo cannot steal anything. Yeah, exactly. I it's just useless. I wouldn't call it useless. It yeah. It makes other people, so let's just have it. See. Alright. And then the boomerang for this flower, that one's actually really good. So, is it like... I wouldn't say it's S tier. It's definitely not S tier. Uh, so, yes, the boomerang probably is so useful. You can throw forwards three times. Yeah. And like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Like, whenever I use it, it's very accurate, so. Very accurate. It's definitely more accurate than the fireball, which we'll get to soon. Later on, so, A to you. Yeah. The Bowser shell, only used for Bowser. I would say this special item is good on Double Dash, since it pretty much screws the other opponents. Mm-hmm. Real badly, and it never breaks. It keeps on going, and it also it's huge. So I would say this is a better green shell. Oh um, yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. Definitely better than the green shell. So I don't know if I put S tier, but what do you think? Um, A tier, high A. The bullet bill. That's. It, it, it's very, like, it's just so easy. It's so easy to use. Yeah, li it literally plays the game for you. Yeah, it's like a guide to success. So I would say it's S2. For sure. Yeah. 
Now then, s same shit with the chain chomp as well. Use for Baby Mario and maybe Luigi. But so, yeah, yeah, definitely lower than the bullet bill because the bullet bill is, you know. Everyone uses this. Yeah. But for this one, it's only Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. Unless you count the Peter Piranha or King Boo, since both of them also use a change up and other special items as well. Yeah. Next one the coin. The coin is actually useless. Like, I, I've never felt it make a difference in any game except for Mario Kart 8, but even yeah. then, Mario Kart 8's coin did barely anything. Um, since you have so, you have like 10, it's the max. Yeah, I know. But yeah, like, the coin has been like completely useless for every game. Yep. So useless. Alright, let's yeah. see here. I like the, 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 that one's, everybody's mentioned that the Crazy 8 is, like, not even that good. Like, how do I say this? Like, compared to, like, the Star, it's only slightly better because you get more items. In their defense, they probably got the Crazy out 8 out of nowhere, like, in some kind of luck thing. Yeah, like, every time I use the Crazy 8... I just, yeah, yeah, I just like spam it. Yeah, we always spam it. Is it a good item? Well, not really, to be honest. <laughs> but I would say it's in the middle. Nah, I think that because it like it's related to the star, it would be placed where like, slightly above where the star would be. Slightly, like what do you? Well, the star is invincible, right? Yes. But like, and it j it's basically just a speed up, right? The star is basically just a speed up. Yeah, the, the being invincible, that whole part, and being able to damage if you touch, doesn't really do anything if you're just like, if there's a bunch of space. So mm -hmm. it's definitely like, A tier. Oh. Yeah. Like I can I can put it. Probably, I'd probably want, I don't know, would I rather have a boomerang flower or a star? Honestly, I would just, uh, I would rather go with a blooming flower since it does more damage than this one. Although, I would say that the star power, when using a star power, you can use a red shell you didn't get to the other car drivers so yeah. maybe that one is better than this one oh yeah but the Bobby? crazy eight would definitely be better than the boomerang flower but it's not better than the bowser show yeah and the boomerang flower is better than the star in my opinion yep all right uh, fake item box so like yeah that that one whole thing it's basically just like a banana but this time you basically place a trap item yeah but the yeah it depends on what game you're using it for really although i did play a unofficial mod of mario kart 7 where they which doesn't count it doesn't count yeah i know so it does behave different but i would say mod. that mario kart ds did show a fake box looking like the real item box so i would say it's the same thing as the banana it um, behaves the way as the banana by throwing forwards like over and goes backwards just like the banana yeah but you can't guard with it yeah so i'd probably put a uh, high c tier also concerning the fact that it's like practically useless and everything uh, practically like I th not even a trap in any other game any in the later games mm -hmm. oh if they even see that it's fully a trap box fake box <laughs> yeah and then the feather is like it's only used in super mario kart and then used in battle mode in mario kart 8 deluxe yeah and like i remember like it just went like you just jumped up basically you jump up and, and then you go fast yeah it is uh i would say this one is underused 
a lot in Mario Kart since the mushroom is preferred used in which we'll get to it. Yeah, I would definitely prefer using the mushroom. This is like a... Uh, Sad to say here, but I think that the, the it fits in yeah. the deer. It's better than the coin and the blue for sure. Yeah, I can agree with that. Now the fire flower is more useless than the boomerang. You get more of it, but it's... I but... Don't, I don't have good accuracy with but it. But so. due to the time limit, you always stuck using it and you have to spam the fireball. Yeah, you never really get like good chances to use it. So let's just give it a D to you. Well, a in a very similar way, it's at just as like mediocre as the Bob Bomb if you think about it. Cause the Bob Bomb has I that think... stupid shit with the when you throw it back. And stupid shit when you throw it forward, actually, because it moves. I think I'll go with the bomb bomb over the fire flower since there are times that you have to always stop with a fire flower. By means a lot. That's interesting. You always have to spam a fireball just to get rid of a fire flower. Yeah, I'll be honest. I'd rather have the fire flower over the bomb bomb, but like they're practically equal to me. Okay. They're, they're basically equal. You can pick and choose with them. Okay, I'll just. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Next up is a fireball. I use the fireball a lot, and it throws three of them. Yeah. I would say it's very useful, I would say. Then it throws more than, well, once. Yeah. It, it, it's just a giant, giant fireball. <laughs> that, yeah. That's really all it is. I like this fireball. Yeah, Which it's. That I would put, put in B. What do you think? I would have put in high C tier, but if you're gonna put in B, make it like bottom. Yeah, I'll I'll promise I would try and put in bottom. Giant banana only uses for Donkey Kong and Donkey Kong. I mean, Diddy Kong. What? I was trying to say Donkey Kong Junior. Yeah, it, but, it's basically just the banana but bigger, so. But when hitting a banana, just becomes separate to sweet bananas, which is also very good. So I would say that, but there is no defensive. You can throw it backwards, so in the order. So I would, I don't know if I call this an S tier or A tier or whatever. This. Well then, um, I feel like because it's like very, what it makes up for with the whole getting, for losing that defensive part where you can guard with the regular banana, it makes up for it for when you get hit, it splits, so. Yeah. Probably low A tier. Low A, good. Golden mushroom. Yeah, you just spam the mushroom. You spam the mushroom and you don't hit to the wall. You don't? No, you, you, you um, do a lot, yeah. actually. Yeah, hopefully you don't. <laughs> and like, yeah, like you just like spam it, but it's like pretty useful in the fact that it's basically just an unlimited mushroom yeah. for, a for a good amount of time. Yeah, but depending on the tracks, you probably need to use it for shortcuts. Yeah. But if there's no shortcuts, then you have to rely on trying to get past the auto drivers who have other items, like a green shell. Yep. So it's a risk and reward situation, that's for sure. Yeah, I'd rather have a golden mushroom than a than a. That's it. Hmm, let me think about that. The golden mushrooms in the crazy eight, right? Yes. Yes. So. Wait, not in the crazy eight. It's not. Nope. I think I remember that. Are you sure? You, you, yeah, go check on your phone. Let's see. Doopy 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 doopy. I think I'm stupid as. Don't care. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Nope. No golden mushroom in the crazy eights. <laughs> okay. So, I'd rather have 
And wait, no, no. To be fair, the crazy eight has the whole star. Star mushroom retro. Yeah, so it's just like what what wins a star versus golden it, shit. We can call it a draw between these two. Yeah. Um. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Golden mushroom doesn't give you invincibility. Yeah. And then there's green the shell. Green. I would put it in a B tier since because when you have a green shell, you have a defensive and a back. You can back so which which reason the driver you can throw forward if you are skilled enough. But as for those non-skilled players who'd rather use a red shell, I will put it in like a B tier. Yeah, yeah, I can agree with that. It's, I think it's worse than the fireball. Oh. Because you get more chance. You, you already said it's fireball three chances, right? Three fireballs. <laughs> yeah, you get only one chance with the damn, damn green shell, so. Although there's a triple greens, we'll get to that. So yes. Halt. What does a halt do? It's basically Defensive, just. Defensive. Yeah. But when the item hits the halt, you get free item, randomized, mm. like a banana or a green shell, yeah, or a mushroom. That's really good, because that's basically, you get the, well, that makes it better than the regular banana, right? Yep. Because it offers the defensive part, and on top of that, you get a freaking free item, just like, just like if you're getting hit with an item box, regular yep. item box. So that's definitely somewhere around A tier. Is it, let's see, better than giant banana? Yeah. Um, boomerang? Is it just any, any item? Any random item? Cause if it is, then that's like, that's like S tier. Let's see. Cause like that, that's pretty overpowered. Either that, or you can put it right below the Crazy 8, because the Crazy mm -hmm. 8 has, like, super... so many items. Good. Let's see. Yeah, let's with the... Let's see you. Um, let's see. Other recipes. Let's see. Hmm. I guess it's just you get any item, ra any random. Cannot repel. Oh, it can't repel everything. Okay. Huh. Wow, that's, there's a lot of shit. But yeah, anyways. Yeah, just put it like right in between the boomerang flower and the golden mushroom. Got it. Oh, I forgot to put the ice flower in the. Yeah, only. We're not talking about Mario Kart Tour items because we don't care about those. And Mario Kart Tour sucks. Let's move on. Lightning. Also it shrinks. Sucks. It shrinks everyone. It's trash. I'm putting. You can put it at the top of D tier, right? Because like, it really doesn't do shit. It, it's, then just shrinking. Yeah. It. It's like. It's like just as useless as the blooper, but like at least, actually, hold up. Although, yeah, I don't know. That's although just like... it did shrink everyone, you might have advantage of getting past them. Yeah, by sh by by squashing them. So yeah, top of D tier. Yep. D. That's amazing. Great. Good for them. Lucky seven. Just put that right below Crazy Eight, cause like it's basically just the same shit. Even though right. Crazy Eight has a coin. <laughs> yeah, woo. Woo. Anyways, Mega Mushroom. Use a mod code we. It's a also pretty mid. You don't. Okay. So it. Cause like if you think about it, it's literally just the lightning. It's what? literally just the lightning. It, you, you know, you, you grow, just become big. You grow big and, and you can them. squish them. Literally exactly like the lightning. Although you can give us 
a 25% boost of speed or acceleration. I but it also go, but also it goes on off-road. Better than bottom C, I guess. It's pretty like yeah, C it still sucks, but like hey, it's better than nothing. Okay. Oh wait, look. the mushroom. Yeah, it it's um, uses for shortcuts or get past other drivers. Uh, yeah, top of B. It's like. Everybody, I'd like be okay with the mushroom for any situation. And heck, mushroom is always used in the every time trial yeah. modes. And if you get like, isn't there that one part where there's like a blue shell, right? When it's oh, right yeah. about to hit you. And if you time, if the blue shell is about to crash into you, you use you, the mushroom. You have to do a good or perfect timing just to dodge the blue shell. Yeah, so that makes it very good. Um, yeah, still on the same tier. Piranha plant. I don't like this. The piranha plant. Well, because one thing for sure is that the you always use them in a limited time. All you do is just chomp, just to gain so this ball of boost, mm -hmm. and you only does close range attacks. Which I probably don't like because I'm not really a huge fan of limited time items. Mm -hmm. And this one sucks. What do you think? I thought it was pretty good. Because I'm able to successfully use it to kill uh, my enemies. Or uh, drivers, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Move on. It also it gives me that extra speed, which is better than none. But I guess that. That's fair if oh. you'd like more long range. Um, I'd put yeah. it bottom B. I'll just. You know what? C? I'll just yeah, put high C. The power block. It sucks. Yeah. In Mario we there's a trick you can not get stunned by it by clicking a wheel mode. Or any other controls that I'll uh, do, just have you do it really just to avoid that. So, yeah, it just sucks. I, I would call it this Woo. bust in the coin. Woo -hoo. Yeah, red shell. I think it this think we know that the red shell does much more damage to the drivers by target locking them. That is, yeah, that part is very useful. The fact that it can target lock, it makes it like one of my favorite items. Everyone's favorite items. So let's give it a A? Or oh, S, what do you think? Hmm. Is it um, the it's it's probably better than the giant banana, but I'm trying to think if cuz I have good accuracy with the boomerang. And you get more chances with that boomerang, but the green shell, I mean red shell is like, more mm -hmm. long range shoot. And it only targets in the back, while the green shell can target from the front or the side. But, I would say it's on A2, but I would think that it's better than the boomerang. Alright. And the, I don't know if it's better than the heart, but I just put it right here. Yeah, that's fine. Spiny shell. It's super. U it's very useful. Yeah, the blue shell is like OP. useful. You just don't have to. Don't be a shitty driver. If you're right. too good at it, you might have a chance of getting hit by the spiny shell. First place drivers don't like the blue shell or have their moment ruined by it. Yeah, but like the thing is that if you're the one using it and you're in eighth place. That doesn't do shit to help you because you're in eighth place, especially if you're very far back. Depending on what place you are, there's a chance you. That is, depending on the place you got, whether it's from fourth or sort of below that, we probably get a spine show. Yeah, you'd have to be definitely not eighth place for it to affect you at all, and it has to be a very close race. Mm -hmm. Um. But if that, it, hopefully those factors are met. But 
at, at best, I see it being like... Like E. Like, you could put it low A or high B, right? That's my opinion for me, personally. Yeah, I think I would make space for the high B. Super horn. Um, Let's see. Oh what yeah, that's the big counter to the blue, blue shell. shell. And that was like, it also like screws over your opponents. Closer. Very lo very short range. Um, yes. Yeah, piranha plant. It's like, that's really just a piranha plant. Yeah. So it, it, it's literally... But it's like, better than a piranha plant in my opinion. Interesting, because it offers like anything no, except no speed at all. No speed, but if you were in first place, you can counter to the green shell or probably the brewing. Actually, flower. like practically almost every item object. But yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, somewhere around C tier, like definitely near top C tier. I don't care. Okay. Super Leaf. Um, yeah, that sucks. You tail whip right next to it. Uh, and yeah. And you always have to, and it's limited time. Yeah, so better it's basically than, just a crappier than, version of the Piranha Plant and Super Horn. Yes. Better than the Power Bomb, better than the Coin, better than the freaking Blooper. Mm. And... No, I don't just leave it there. Yeah. A uh, superstar. It's a star. Duh. It's literally, yeah. literally does what you You have does. more boosts and you have invincible. Um, put it. We already had like many conversations about it because of the crazy yeah. eight. It's definitely below the crazy eight. Duh. Don't be dumb. <laughs> it, it's, um. What do you think? Is it right here? I'd rather have the. No, way. I don't know. One is not invincible, and this is invincible with limited time. Yeah, but do doesn't the golden mushroom go faster than the superstar? I believe that the golden mushroom is faster than a superstar, so yeah, I think it's speed, speed wins. I like that. Thundercloud. This it's a unlucky item, just like the poison yeah, mushroom. Just put it below everything else at the end of the day. Yeah, I think. It's worse than a power block. Yeah. I... Because it's a unfortunate item you sh get, and it's only exclusive for Mario Kart Wii. Um, let's see, triple banana. Um, it's the same thing as a banana bunch, but, but yeah, it's only three. three. Um, that's like giant banana range. I don't know. What... I don't know if it's better. I can't. Or yeah. Yeah. I can also put an S. I'm good with that. Yeah, I think that these two are pretty much just like alike, with more defensive. So I'll just put in the same deal. Yeah. And same things in their both tie. Actually, wait, we need to fix this. The bullet bill is invincible, and so is the chain chomp. Unless it, unless the chain chomp gets broken off. So higher the bullet, the bullet bill on t for, but technically the bullet bill is when you're very far behind. Yeah, and a chain chomp as well. The bullet bill stops whether you're in like fifth or sixth or fourth or third. Yeah, so I guess keep it there. That's fair. Yep, the green sh triple green shells, both both good at offensive and defensive. And guess what? It's three of them. What do you expect? Uh, I'd put it right behind the red shell because yeah. At the end of the day, one aiming red shell is not as good as three shields. Three freaking weapons that you can throw that have a good chance of yeah. landing. Um, triple mushroom. Let's see. Triple uh, mushroom, we talk about the golden mushroom thing that you can go through at like a shortcut. Same place to here. Yeah, so uh, put that bottom A. Okay, cool. And then we got the triple reds. You probably I put that... I, I don't know what to say though, but I think it's S tier. Yeah. Because it's really good. And then, and last but not least, or at is the least, but kind of like both, 
Yoshi egg and Bodo egg. Uh. It's a lock on target, and once you hit the driver, different items explode. Oh, uh, yeah, it, don't know it hatches out new items, yeah. I don't know though, but I think I'll go with the B. Since there's a random chance of items flying. Yeah, and technically they could pick, the, your opponents could pick that up, so it's not very useful in that sense. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 definitely like... Low B. Well, it's better than an aiming... I mean, than a, than a green shell, in my opinion. Isn't it lock on target? Yeah, but is there one, only one egg that's thrown? You only get one chance to throw it. Oh, that's... I mean... Yeah, only one egg to throw. There's no two or three. Yeah. Well, then in that case... Then... It definitely goes behind the the the, uh, the fireball. It definitely goes behind the fireball. Yep. Because the fireball gets three chances to use. Yeah, that's about right. So, as you can see, all the items on the bottom are gone. Yay. All right. And so, that concludes our tier list of my card item. What do you guys think? Do you like our tier list? Do you don't like, dislike them? I don't care. Then, what do you think? Yeah. But yeah, there, there you go, guys. Yeah. We're done! Yeah, there's nothing really else to say. Do you think that we should have a little segment to bring back that... Was it that one thing where we give I give advice? Oh yeah, the community service announcement. Yeah, that. We probably will. Probably make it an item based community service announcement. Yep. Yeah, that sounds smart. Mm-hmm. So, that pretty much it just for today. We'll see you probably next time. Yeah. So yeah, and until, until next time, time, do the Mario. Mario.